it is grocery haul time. This is the first one of April. It is April 5th. I stopped at two stores today and I tried to keep it as inexpensive as possible, but man, that total just added up so quick. So the first store, I just look right now, uh, it was $44 and I just got a couple things, but it really added up quick. So here's that stuff. So coffee was on sale for $7.99 again. So I grabbed two of the Maxwell House and two of the Folgers. This was limit to, and this one I could have gotten four, but I was trying to keep my total lower. I actually don't think they had a limit on that, but, um, you know, I was already pretty high for this. So I grabbed those, and then I grabbed two cream cheeses because they were $1.99 a piece, which is not bad lately. And then I grabbed a bunch of grapes because they were rock hard and on sale. I think they were like two, two twenty nine a pound. So I grabbed a couple of those and then this was the freebie for today. I was walking around that store looking for like a cold brew coffee <laughs> and then they said it was a bag of candy. So whatever, it was free. So this is the stuff that I grabbed from Walmart. So we've got bananas. I always just keep those around. I've got two different kinds of rolls. I got these um, sub rolls and then ciabatta rolls. Three gallons of milk. Uh, two mayos. I was totally out, so I got one for the fridge and one for a backup. Two uh, creamers. Can you take these down, too? I got a couple of yogurts, uh, sharp cheddar cheese, and then this stuff was kind of pricey, but it's my oldest daughter's birthday coming up, and she wanted roast beef sandwiches, so I got a couple of packs of roast beef and some provolone and then some au jus, so that'll be good. That'll be this weekend. And then I got sour cream, because we were totally out. A big pack of string cheese for lunches. I got strawberries, because I'm pretty sure I'm out of the kids' yogurt, so I'll have to make a batch of that. And then I got raspberries, kiwi, blueberries, and strawberries, like fresh strawberries, um, for my daughter's like birthday cake. She likes to do little sugar cookies with fruit on top. And then I found these on the clearance rack so these are steak strips or like beef jerky things and they were super cheap 244 and they were supposed to be ten dollars and then I found these ones which were 112 this I think was a dollar but there's not a sticker on it and then this one was a dollar so they had quite a few of these ones but only one of these and I didn't want to go crazy because I've never tried these ones but I thought that was all a pretty good deal. I like having beef jerky around, but it's super expensive, so I never buy it. But that was everything from Walmart, and that was $113 for that little tiny haul. It's grocery day. It's April 12th. I just got back from doing groceries, and I've got a haul. All right, so this was from the grocery store. They had red potatoes on sale, so that's like two pounds of that. They had grapes on sale, which I do have grapes in the fridge still, but these were nice and hard. So I got some of those, which ended up being way more than I thought, because that's like two and a half pounds. So that was like $7 worth of grapes. Um, the soda was on sale. It was $3.99 for a six pack, which isn't the best price, but if I buy them individually, um, it costs way more than that. So I thought I'd just get two packs and wait for a better sale before I get, you know, a stock up. And then my mom picked these up for me because she was telling me about them and I said they sounded awesome and she grabbed them for me because she's awesome. So that was everything from that store and that was um, $17.49, so $18 at the grocery store. This is the stuff I picked up from Walmart. Some of it was um, the pickup and some of it I ran in the store for. So I got a big bag of broccoli. We're out. I picked up a big bag of strawberries because I need to make yogurt this week. We got mushrooms. I picked up these Power Crunch bars. I keep trying different protein bars and I keep coming back to these. So I think I'm just going to, you know, accept that these are the only protein bars I really like and I'm going to buy those. And then they had a new flavor, chocolate coconut. So I was all in on that. Found this Twix creamer that was zero sugar. And I was super excited about this because I love Twix, but I already opened it up and poured it in my coffee and I'm not super thrilled with it and I'm not gonna be sad if I never buy it again. It's not bad and I'll drink it, but it's not great. 
let's see. And then I got a couple of these drink packet things. I got some applesauce for the kids. I got two vanilla creamers. Picked up bananas. I got pizza sauce. A uh, pack of granola bars, which I think I'm going to find a recipe and see if I can start making these because these are kind of pricey. I picked up a head of lettuce, which I don't like doing because I don't want to chop it. I'm just lazy. But I usually get the shredded lettuce in the bag. But this is like double the lettuce for the same price as a small bag. So I'm going to have to just start getting that and chopping my own and not being lazy. I got one grapefruit. The ones that were in the bag looked really gross and I just wanted one. So grab that. I got some blueberries. I got three packs of raspberries. Whoop. Whoop. Um, some little grape tomatoes for salads and whatever. I got some cheese singles. And then I got a block of sharp cheddar, which we just like to keep around. And then a block of the Colby Jack, um, the Marble Jack or whatever. We like that. I don't know, just to eat. I got sliced provolone. Um, I feel like there's a recipe I needed this for, but I couldn't quite remember, so I just grabbed it. And then I got honey ham and turkey so that I can make sandwiches for the kids' lunches. Got a big pack of strawberries, three gallons of milk, and then I did pick up two of the boxes of hug barrels for the kids' lunches. And I think that's everything. So in store was $46 and then the pickup order was $85. So whatever that turns out to be. And then I did stop and get four loaves of bread. So that was $6 from the gas station. So that is the haul. That's all I got for today. Well, it is April 17th. Um, I actually don't know what day I bought this stuff. I bought it, gosh. Wednesday or something I don't know but it's been sitting on my floor and I've been meaning to film it and <laughs> the kids have been getting after it so I need to get this done so I'm just gonna show you quick what I picked up this isn't really like a grocery haul it's do you want help honey okay do you want help okay. um it's more just like a junk haul I went to Walmart and they had a bunch of like junk I mean it's just junk it's all sugary stuff they had it on the clearance rack and I stocked up. My kids have about eight weeks left of school, I think, and they're allowed to take like one um, sugar thing in their lunch, whether it be like a piece of their Easter candy or, you know, when it was Halloween, a piece of their Halloween candy. <coughs> and so now this is the stuff I bought and they can take one of these if they want. So I'm hoping that it'll last till the end of school. And if it doesn't, I don't know, whatever, they just don't get junk in their lunch. But that's their little treat for the day. So I'll show you what I picked up. And I was pretty happy to find these. Um, I never would have bought these normally because of the price. But this was a pretty good haul in my opinion. So I will um, show you what I got. Did I see? Yeah, okay. All right, here's my junk haul. So I picked up... These Hostess Baby Bunt Cakes, they were uh, lemon, and all of these were $2 a piece. Super happy about that. Um, and honestly, I've never even looked twice at any of these before because normally they're uh, $3.48. That's actually not terrible. These ones are $4.14. But still, I don't generally buy this stuff, but, you know, for two bucks, I'll buy it. So there's eight of those. I picked up two, and then these Strawberry Bites, I grabbed two of those. And they were $2 as well. These are individually packed, which is nice. And I think these are too. Yep. Okay. And then I found um, the original glazed ones. So I got two of those. And then I grabbed these blueberry ones, which <clears throat> these aren't individually packed. They're just in a big bag. And there's 12 in there. So I already opened one box and I put them all into little snack bags so the kids could grab them. Um, and they really like them, so that was great. And then they had the salted caramel ones. Um, and again, those aren't individually packed, so I'll have to repack those. And then because it was after Easter, I got these for half price. The kids love these stuffed marshmallows. And these are, I don't know if you can see, they're wrapped individually, which is great. However, these ones have like the sanding sugar on them. 
and the ones that I bought at Halloween had um, like sprinkles, like actual sprinkles on them. And I think that we decided that we like the sprinkle ones more, but they'll still eat these, so whatever. This was uh, $2, like $1.98 or something, and I grabbed two bags of those. And then I found gallon-sized tea bags, which maybe I'm, you know, not the brightest, but I didn't realize that they made tea bags in gallon size. I always open up a hundred little tea bags and put them into my container. So I was really happy to find these and I'm going to probably make some tonight so that, um, you know, I mean, it should taste fine. It's just tea, right? But I was really happy because it should be just one big tea bag and there's 24 of them in there. So that was a cool find. And then I got this because it was on the clearance shelf. It was 66 cents and this is the kind I put like in pot pies with the little potatoes. I think that's potatoes. Yeah, I think that's the same one that I get when I make my pot pie stuff. So everything I bought was on clearance. I was super happy about that. And uh, let me see what the total was. What? Hold on, honey. All right, so all of this was right around $28 which again, does seem like a lot for just a bunch of junk, but this hopefully will last until the end of school so I won't have to pay full price if I wanna allow the kids to have a treat. So I'm really happy about this and good job. Yeah, I think this was a score. My neighbor who gave me food, um, I think that was in February, she texted me and said that she had four bags of this breaded uncooked chicken. So I think these are five pounds a piece, so that was about 20 pounds of chicken. So that was really cool. It's April 19th. I just went shopping. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna whip through this stuff because I gotta make dinner. So let's go. This was the Walmart stuff. So I got four gallons of milk because I really need to make cheese and yogurt and I haven't had a chance yet. Got Triscuits because I'm out and I like to have those for a snack here and there. I got um, a thing of tea and lemonade for our drinks. Applesauce for the kids, snacks or whatever. A uh, bag of sugar because I was out. Um, strawberry jelly because I have like that much left. Got a Simply Limeade because it just sounded really good last night. Pepperoni for pizza. Sharp cheddar cheese. Um, we just like to keep that around. And then, did I say pineapple? Whoop. Pineapple for pizza. Uh, three creamers. I found some clearance bagels, which is such a great price because this is cheaper than the cheap bagels that I can get, and those ones taste like crap, and these ones are good. So I gotta slice them though. I'll probably slice them and bag them separately so that they um, are ready to go. Got a big thing of peanut butter because I was completely out, and that has not happened in a long time. Um, eggs, I'm so happy they are down to like 10 something, which is still like double what I was paying a couple years ago, but that's really good for right now. I got a thing of cheese because I couldn't remember if we needed it and I was too lazy to look before I left, so I just bought one. I got uh, hot dog buns and hamburger buns. I've got some chili left over from our chili dogs, so next week we'll probably have uh, chili dogs, but like, you know, regular chili dogs instead of the fried chili dogs. And then I've got burgers in the freezer, but we needed buns. I got four of these. I'm gonna make um, breakfast hash and I'm gonna roll them into breakfast burritos for the freezer. My son's cheering over here. And my dog's flipping out. I got a bag of sugar snap pea stir fry. I got a bag of tater tots. Oh, that's it, okay. That is everything from Walmart. Um, I don't remember the total, but I will put it up. Oh, where's the put it up here when I dig out the receipt and figure out what all this cost. This is from the grocery store. So I picked up um, all these Hunt's sauces and then two Rotels. They were all a dollar a can and then if you bought eight of them you got the free Roma pizza. So that was cool. Townhouse crackers were $3 a box, but if you bought two, you got a dollar off, so these were $2.50 a piece. This was whatever it was. I don't recall if it was on sale or not. Seems like it would have been, but I don't remember. Um, these were two for three, so that was a pretty good price for that. 
These are crab cakes and lobster cakes. They had them for a dollar a piece and I wanted to try them so I got two of each because my husband's gonna try them with me. And then they had these organic um, salad things. I don't know what this is. It says citrus splash and the leaves look red. Um, but it looked like all of the ingredients said the same thing for all of them. Oh, maybe not. Sorrel. I don't know what that is, but it looked really good. They were on sale for two bucks, which is cheaper than just buying a bag of lettuce at Walmart. So I thought, what the heck, try them. And then these were the freebies today. So they're like um, yogurt smoothies. So my mom grabbed one and I grabbed one. And she gave me hers because nobody's going to drink it. And then I picked up um, ground ginger. You know, I was going to get this at Walmart and it was like four bucks for the cheapest one. And it was only $1.79. So I thought that was a good deal. And then I got smoked paprika because it's just not a spice that I had in my cabinet. And it was $2.39. So um, whatever the total for all that is, I will put up here somewhere. And we'll, I went to Aldi too. I'll show you that. All right, this is the Aldi haul. So I got these popcorn things. I thought maybe the baby would like them. A couple zucchini. Oh, I forgot to look for the yellow ones at Walmart. Um, I got some protein yogurt. Just, um, what is that? Like mixed berry and then vanilla. Got a bunch of this protein granola because kids eat it with their banana splits and I like it um, with my yogurt. Bunch of bananas, they were a better price than Walmart. I got peppers, because they were a good price. I got little peppers, the kids like to snack on these, and we haven't had them in a while, so that's good. I grabbed some tomatoes, because we're doing burgers sometime soon. I got um, grapes, they were pretty cheap. These were only 99 cents, so I grabbed those. And then I got standard raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. I think that was it from Aldi, so I'll put a total up there. And that is everything I got. Is it 26? Is it really? I thought it was 23rd. 26. Okay. Uh, it's April 26th. I just got back from shopping. I have a little tiny haul, and it was from mostly Walmart. I got a couple things from the grocery store, but here it is. So those I picked up from the grocery store, they were on sale two for five, so that was five bucks. And then I got granola bars, a couple gallons of milk, these drink flavor things that we like, um, amaretto creamer, this extra creamy Cool Whip for the kids, um, what do you call them? Banana splits. They take bananas and yogurt and whipped cream and granola and berries and it's like a whole a whole thing. Then I got some palm and cherry juice. Picked up some cashews because I love them. I got um, apple cinnamon rice cakes because the baby loves these. Bag of oranges. Two apple sauces for lunches and junk. Got a bag of grapefruits. Bag of potatoes. I got two cans of crab meat. Um, I just wanted to see if they were different from each other. So I got two different kinds. They were basically the same price. I got hot dog chili because I want to try making uh, chili cheese burritos with this and see how it turns out. Got a can of artichoke hearts because I want to make artichoke chicken, which I forgot spinach, but oh well. I got cream cheese because we were out. I got cheddar cheese because we keep that around. Sour cream because we were completely out. Two powdered sugars because we were completely out. And then the seeded rye bread because I really love rye bread and I hardly ever have it so I just grabbed it so I'll throw it in the freezer and just take it out as I need it and that was everything and it was uh, 80 85 for all of this so I don't think that was too bad it did stop for bread one more time so that was another six dollars onto the total which brings the whole total to six hundred and thirty six dollars for the month of April um, that's not great, but that seems to kind of be where I'm landing with everything lately. The price of groceries has gone up so much, we all know. So I'll just uh, keep doing what I'm doing and try to wiggle it down some more, I guess. But six thirty-six dollars for the month of April for all the groceries that we got. So that is the whole haul. I'll see you next time. Bye.